Hi there everybody, it's Halsey here, UK independent stamping up demonstrator from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have made a Christmas card for you, which is this one, blended and coloured, using two new stamp sets from the mini catalogue. I've used the Words of Cheer photopolymer stamp set for the image detail. And I have used the Happy Holidays for the Noel. I love this set. I'm really loving the Robin and can't wait to do a card with that. But I wanted to use this detail today and I wanted a really big word to go with it. So I've used the Noel from here. Let me show you how to put this together. First of all, you're going to need your base cardstock. So this is a full sheet of thick A4 basic white which I've cut in half and scored in half to create my base. And then I have a piece of basic white, this is the normal cardstock, not the thick, that is 10.5 centimetres by 14.85 centimetres. So it fits on perfectly like that, and there is no frame, it just fits perfectly onto the tent fold. Okay start off with I'm going to be using my memento ink I'm going to be using memento for all of this card because I am going to be using blends and it works better with blends and I've already got my noel onto a block so I'm just going to ink that up and take it to the middle I was just checking I hadn't got the uh, the card there and just got the card front so I'm going to take it to the middle of the card and I'm going to stamp it down like that okay I've then got a piece of scrap paper as you can see I've used this quite a few times for these cards and I'm just going to be inking up the image detail and stamping it down so once you've inked it up turn it around take it to the paper and stamp it down and I'm going to be doing two at the bottom and two at the top Now it's up to you. I often find taking the ink pad to the larger stamps is easier to make sure that you're not missing a piece. Okay, so I often find popping the stamp down and putting the ink pad on it is better because then you can see that you've got all of it, especially on the bigger stamps. The little stamps that just go into the ink pad. So I'm just going to do that one there. And... Finally, this bit over here. There we go, to create a nice frame around. Now we're going to be doing some blending. So I have got lots of different shades of green. So I am using light and dark just jade, there for the holly leaves. I am using dark shaded spruce and that is for the little berry pieces. I am using dark evening evergreen and that is for this sprig piece that's at the back. And then finally, I'm using light and dark real red for the poncettas. So on the two that I'm using the light and dark colours for, I'm using the dark on the flowers and I'm using it dark in the centre like that on each one. And then the rest of the flower I'm colouring in with the light. So what I do is I go around the petals like that. And then I just take the blend over the entirety of it, the light and the dark, just to blend that colour in. For the Just Jade, which is light and dark, I'm using the dark along the side of the holly, like that. 
and then I'm using the light to fill it in and I'm going over all of it to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I do know it is kind of dull watching someone do a whole load of blending, is I'm actually going to speed up the next few minutes of this video so that you've actually got it a little bit quicker and I'll pop some music over it, but it won't be more than for a few seconds and you'll see the whole card come together and then I'll come back to you and talk you through the rest of the process at the end. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Okay, so once you've finished colouring in your card, you then want to attach your card front to your card base using some liquid glue. So I'm just gonna pop a dollop of that along the back here. Now, if you've ever done what I've just done with my liquid glue and put myself a blob at the corner, you can always use the end and it's got this sort of Kind of like a paintbrush idea which means that you can just spread the glue out so you don't get clumps underneath so it's really quite handy and then just to fix that onto your card okay the final little bit of detail is i have just popped some rhinestones in the corner as a little bit of embellishment just to give it a bit of a dazzle so I'm just going to pop that onto this one in between the colouring gaps and there we go card finished what do you think hope you like it and hopefully enjoyed it it was using the happy holidays and the words of cheer stamp sets both are from the mini catalogue. Both are available from www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed the video, please do give me a thumbs up and pop back again soon. Bye everyone. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.